when is a room not a room? Well, when it's an outdoor terrace. And they have become the quintessential Aussie extension. They can be as simple as an overhead pergola or something like this, which is almost an integrated room, complete with its kitchen and barbecue. But there are a few key things in getting them right. And the first is making sure they have access to, to northern light, or ideally morning or preferably afternoon sun. And by finishing them in the same colour as the rooms they run off, that will help visually tie them together. The other thing you've got to consider is how the terrace connects back to the building. And one detail you really have to get right is the threshold. Here we have a flat transition between inside and out. That means we have to set our door tracking system down between ideally a hard surface. It's a tricky detail to get right, but it really achieves that seamless indoor-outdoor feel. An easier way of doing it is just to have a small step, and that's probably what you'd do, particularly if you're attaching a terrace to an existing building. Bifolds will generally give you a bigger opening, but are more expensive than sliders because there's a little more engineering involved. Because they're top hung in tracks overhead, it could require steel to carry the load. Sliding doors or sliders is the other option. It means that there's a top and bottom track. And if you detail it correctly, you can slide them back into a hidden cavity on the outside wall. That achieves a complete opening without the complexity of bifolds. That's pretty neat. Oh, the other great thing about an outdoor terrace is because they're not fully enclosed, it means they're not part of your floor space ratio. Councils don't include them as part of your floor plan, yet they're relatively economical to construct compared with other parts of your home. But if you detail them and connect them properly, I guarantee you they'll become one of the most loved parts of the home.